which nutrients does fertilizers contain? Uh, we know fully well that fertilizers contain NPK, right? Or if you want to write it in full, we have nitrogen, uh, nitrogen gas, and then we have phosphorus, uh, phosphorus, and then we have potassium, uh, represented by K, potassium. And then 10.1.2 says, which of the three nutrients is neither produced or mined in South Africa? So we have NPK, right? Uh, nitrogen gas. Uh, that's a gas, right? Uh, we find it everywhere. It's basically a dry air. So we're definitely not talking about nitrogen. Uh, now the solution is between uh, phosphorus and potassium right uh, phosphorus is mined in uh, palawora uh, by a company called fosco right so the nutrient uh, that is either mined or produced uh, is potassium potassium right and then 10.1.3 says one of the primary nutrients is mined in South Africa. State the mineral form in which it is found. We have already stated that phosphorus is mined in South Africa in Palawuro, right? Uh, the mineral form in which it is mined, we find it in the form of uh, phosphate, right? And then 10.1.4 says, uh, name an industrial process by which the third uh, primary nutrient not mentioned in 10.1.2 and 10.1.3 so we mentioned uh, potassium and we mentioned uh, phosphate right phosphorus uh, so we're talking about nitrogen so which industrial process makes nitrogen available as a fertilizer that is the Haber process right so we have a Haber process there and then 10.2 says uh, the use of fertilizer as one important negative effect called eutrophication uh, define eutrophication uh, this is more of a life science term right uh, it says that uh, it is the process by which an ecosystem an ecosystem can be a river a dam and so on uh, becomes enriched with inorganic nutrients especially phosphorus and nitrogen resulting in excessive plant growth right a process uh, by which an ecosystem becomes enriched with inorganic nutrients especially phosphorus and nitrogen resulting in exit resulting in excessive plant growth and then 10.3 a farmer plants to plant maize his research shows that he needs 18 cages of uh, nitrogen 3 cages of phosphorus and 3.25 cages of potassium in the soil to produce one ton of maize per hectare uh, a fertilizer company advises him to use uh, 100 cages of fertilizer A that has an MPK ratio of 4 is to 1 is to 1 or 2 packs of 50 kg of fertilizer B that has an MPK ratio of 7 is to 2 is to 2. Do the necessary calculations to advise the farmer on which fertilizer you should buy to avoid overnutrition of the plants okay so to avoid overnutrition of the plant so we want uh, the fertilizer that is closest to the research the farmer is proposing right so the farmer says that um, let's say we have n p k the farmer says uh, he needs 18 cages of nitrogen and then he needs 3 cages of phosphorus and 3.25 cages of potassium so let's go ahead and calculate uh, the cages uh, from fertilizer a and fertilizer b for nitrogen potassium and phosphorus and see what we get right so when we talk about uh, the npk ratio so let me put uh, fertilizer a here so we have an npk ratio uh, 4 is to 1 uh is to one and then in bracket we have uh 36 right so first one is to one is the ratio of uh the nutrient and then the number in the bracket is the actual percentage of fertilizers in the entire bag so if we want to find the cages of nitrogen right because we know that it says n 
pk then we're going to have 4 divided by 6 the total numbers we have as ratios right uh, so we have 4 divided by 6 multiplied by 36 and that will give us uh, the mass of nitrogen in that fertilizer so 4 divided by 6 multiplied by 36 uh, is 24 and now we can go to phosphorus so the amount of phosphorus in kg will be 1 divided by 6 multiplied by uh, 36 1 divided by 6 multiplied by 36 uh, that is 6 kgs right now we can go to potassium we just did uh, phosphorus right so we're gonna have uh, 1 divided by 6 multiplied by 36 because the ratio of potassium is also 6 right so that will also be 6 kgs so now let's compare these um, kgs with what the farmer is looking for right the farmer is looking for 18 uh, fertilizer a has 24 for nitrogen right it's looking for 3 kgs of for us uh, this fertilizer A has 6 kgs and then for potassium is looking for 3.25 uh, Fertilizer A has 6 kgs. So it's a really 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 above what the farmer is looking for But then let's look at uh, option B and see if it's any better, right? So for option B, uh, I use option B here We have the ratio at 7 is to 2 is to 2 and then the actual amount is you know 15% and then this is for a 50 kg bag right uh, but then the dealer at the store is saying that i uh, should use two of these 50 kg bags so if it's using two of these 50 kg bags uh, then you can write the ratios as 14 is to 4 is to 4 and then in bracket you put 30 right or instead of doing that you calculate the mass as it is and then you just multiply it by two at the end right uh, so let's let's do that so for nitrogen we're going to have uh, 7 divided by 7 plus 2 plus 2 that is 11 multiplied by 15 and that is 9.54 kgs right and this is for a 50 kg bag so because they're saying it should use 2 we can multiply that number by 2 right so that we can get the amount for 100 kgs bag so for 100 kg uh, we're going to have 19.09 uh, kgs right uh, this is for a 100 kg bag or 250 kgs right and then now let's go to uh, phosphorus so phosphorus we're going to have 2 uh, divided by 11 multiplied by 15 we're going to get 2.7273 kgs right and then obviously we're going to multiply that by 2 so that uh, we can get uh, the amount if we use two bags. Uh, if you multiply by two, you get 5.45 uh, kgs, right? And then for potassium, uh, it will be the same as phosphorus, right? Because they have the same ratio. So here we also have 5.45 uh, kgs, right? So now let's do our comparison. The farmer doesn't want overnutrition, right? So we should pick a fertilizer that is closest to what the farmer is looking for, right? For fertilizer B, for nitrogen, we have 19.09 if you use two bags, right? And then for phosphorus, uh, we have 5.45 if you use two bags. And then for potassium, we have 5.452. And that is uh, closer to what the farmer is looking for compared to fertilizer a where you have 24 for nitrogen six for phosphorus and six for potassium right uh, so here i'm advising the farmer to pick uh, fertilizer b